Hello, I'm Pierre Bensuzon and you're watching Guitar Messenger. If you, if you play any tuning, if you want to start playing chords, you have to, it's not like you need a book, you know, to, to look at your uh, fingerings. You, you just know that a chord is one, three, five. And you create that chord yourself. In that guy, that's a C. In standard tuning, if you apply the, the C of standard tuning, you obtain a, a seventh. But in that guy, As soon as you start playing a chord in that gut, we completely forget you are playing in a different tuning. There is uh, something in, in which came to me recently, I mean maybe some years ago, which was not obvious yet. I, I listen to my early recordings and I hear a lot of sonic information in terms of notes being played and being always there while other notes are being there. And of course, this has to do with the tuning I use, which is that gad. And sometimes that creates um, ambiguity. It's like, what exactly do you want that we hear? Is it that bass? Or that bass? Or both basses? Do we want here to listen to that in interval of fifth? Or... What is this? Three, three basses? Why three basses? No, I, it's just an example, but to resolve that example, it took me a little bit of a time to, to sort of, by necessity, find a way to not do that. So at the beginning, I was doing a lot of, you know, trying to create rhythmic thing as I was playing and by tapping with the left hand on the neck. But sometimes you have no opportunity to do that. Your left hand is busy doing other things. So there are, there are little trick like with a thumb here, you know, we. Steel string, steel string players, we have a, a narrower neck than classical players. So we can use our thumb to just that, right? Just that, stop the resonances. But even also that, like you play with the thumb one bass, you play with your index a second bass, and at the same time your index plays that second bass, your thumb comes and rests on the first bass at the very same time and you hear one bass at a time. It's just um, an example that has to be applied to every finger. It's a relationship between fingers, in fact. It's a, it's a mental thing. You have to accept that fingers are there to play, but they are also there so that you can control the sound, and sometimes they don't play. They just come, and there is a movement of those fingers which does not result in sound, but in silence. I'd like to, to play just a little beginning of a melody for you with, with no contact of my fingers on the strings and let everything breathe and resonate and then contact. Now contact. that personally because it's more it's an intention it's more clear when we speak in our intentions in our emotions there are words that we pronounce quietly others that are louder the same should happen with the music this amplitude is the way we tell our story this is the way we we keep the momentum the drive the person listening this is the way we keep people interested Quite simply put, you know. I use um, a lot of uh, harp effect technique. Instead of, for instance, doing... So 
I can I can I can have strings bouncing against each other with consecutive notes. I can have them be played together and it creates a dissonance of a second interval. But I can also use the lower note to come to the higher note. And on my right hand, I'm going to try to control the sounds that I feel are more important than others by this technique of thumb and index, for instance. And now index and middle. It's a scale in F. And the rendition of that is very liquid, very fluid, like stairs, but it's round. See what I do now, I, instead of using a, vib a vibrato here on the left hand, I use a sort of all the whole guitar shaking, creating this. That's, that's only the left hand. But as soon as I play an open string, what do I do with that open string? I have to I have to move. There is two ways of moving. Two, two, two. One is to have all the molecules of sound to knock against the sides of the guitar and go out by grapes of sounds out of the sound hall. Another one is to work only with the neck and secure the guitar here with the and push on the neck and the pitch goes down and like an electric guitar, right? It's doable with a steel string, not with an iron string, unfortunately. Like an old record. Thank you. 